I'm Louise Upston and I was thrilled to participate recently in the Women's Political Leaders Summit in Lithuania. Over 300 women political leaders from across the globe gathered. Um, there were former presidents, prime ministers, current prime ministers and presidents, ministers for women and MPs. And it was a wonderful opportunity to share New Zealand's values um, and our ideals with the rest of the world. One of the standout sessions for me was a session on women's economic empowerment. What was clear to me is there's some really innovative things going on in some of the African states, for example, around microfinancing. Um, one of the banks that's entirely owned um, by women and their focus is lending to women to support uh, their entrepreneurial ventures. And so economic independence uh, really is a significant key to providing women choices and greater opportunities for the future. One of the highlights is Lithuania was celebrating their 100 years of suffrage. Uh, and so that was a really special occasion. And of course, with New Zealand celebrating 125 years this year, there was a lot of interest in New Zealand, um, what our history was, uh, what that meant for us now. Um, so it was a real highlight um, being in that position in our 125th year uh, and to be there with our former Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Helen Clark. I'd be so bold as to say that New Zealand should look at hosting um, the Women Political Leaders Summit uh, sometime in the future. Uh, that's something I raised with uh, former Prime Minister Helen Clark and she was definitely keen on it. So that's something that I think we should uh, consider as a parliament. We now have 40% of our parliament women uh, and strong representation in cabinet, uh, as well as strong representation in the um, front bench of the opposition. So definitely think that New Zealand is um, in, the, in the upper levels of how we're doing around uh, gender equality in our political system. Doesn't mean we're there yet. Uh, we've definitely still got more work to do. And I think the challenge for New Zealand is not to be complacent. Mm -hmm.